This is the GeoSketch Tools video for the import shapefile tool. Before importing a shapefile, it's useful to also import a nadir image of the area. So I'll first import a nadir image, and that gets geolocated in our model. And now, when I load in the shapefile, I first am presented with a panel to determine the height of any polygons in the shapefile. There's two choices. I can either use a height attribute from within the shapefile, or if there is no height information in the shapefile, then I can choose to use a default height assigned to all the polygons, and I can key in a default height here. But in this case, the uh, shapefile does have some height attribute information and GeoSketch will search through the attributes and if it finds an attribute that is the word height or HDT or the word elevation it will present that as the default choice for the height attribute but if you also have the ability to go in and select a different attribute from among the attributes in the file but in this case height is the proper attribute and you need to know the units that it is given in the attributes and normally it's in meters but in this case it is presented in feet so we click OK and the buildings are constructed from the polygons in the, in the shapefile. Now in this case because we only had a nadir image only the top face of the buildings was textured from that image. As another example if I load in a file that has aux views in it, and those aux views have been geolocated using the technique described in the concepts videos. Now we have that nadir image and we have the aux views that have been geolocated with it. So if we read in that same shape file, and again specify that the height is in feet, then they will receive the texture on the top, on the roof, from the nadir image, but then also be textured on the sides from the aux view images. In this case there's a little bit of mismatch because it, they were not precisely positioned, but we can use the texture face tool as described in that video to refine the mapping of those textures onto the buildings. So that's the operation of the import shapefile tool.